Right. Yeah. And then yeah. Ben and Andrew fell off the stage. It was funny. <laughs> From the audience, it was funny. Oh, it, it was, it, don't worry, it was funny for us, too. Yeah. yeah. So We like it when you guys get hurt. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you so can I, find, I think, that was stuff only... on YouTube from Project 42, but it's difficult to find, so that is a challenge for the chat. That was only the yeah, download challenge, challenge, challenge the chat. No. Oh, they did? Really? Yeah, no, they're on they probably have. But they that was only I, the, I was like, wow! That was only the second of three times that someone fell off the stage that weekend. That's, <laughs> that, that was I didn't even know that it was a gimmick. How was this stage built? Was this so really? it was, Not against it was the wall. risers, yeah. yes. right? But you know how typically those risers have like a little metal plate that rises up above the height of it mm -hmm. to stop chairs from, for example, sliding off. So what happened was we were trading places and someone needed to get by. And so Ben sat down and his thing, his chair slid back and he grabbed the, he frantically <laughs> reached out, no. frantically reached out for the only thing he could grab, which was Andrew. Oh. And so Andrew's sitting there going, Oh, guess I die. And they both, <laughs> and there was a, there's a, there was a curtain there, but the curtain was like several feet away from the wall, so they just fell into the curtain, which did slow their fall, and just went. Uh. <laughs> this came down upon everybody who was on the stage. And then six, yeah, if you have the clip handy, bring it on. And, and then the six best, enforcers came out of nowhere. That's yeah. the best part. Yeah, it was amazing. Is that that they prove once again just how amazing they are because they were at the stage before anybody in the front row could help. Before yeah. they hit the ground, really. Before yeah. I knew what was going on. Yeah. I was just like... Oh, no. Yeah, yeah, watching I, Lee Sharp. What's up, Lee? This is Hokkaido Melon. Right? Yeah, Hokkaido Melon's not yeah. Melon's yeah. not my thing. I, I, any, I love anything from Hokkaido. Did you, did you um, have other things? I'm sure to someone in this? chat will did be able to find Did we tell scary part. stories yet? We, uh, Mike had a scary story. We did. did. Well, can, I tell, can I tell a real scary story from right here at Desert Bus? Yeah. yeah. So do you I, want the scene the lighting? Yeah. No, yeah. no, it's fine. Oh. We, gave, well, we, we, had Mike, the lighting. we had Mike sit in the co pilot seat. All right. I enjoyed the mood lighting. He got more into it. It was great. It was definitely the music. It was great. Scary lighting again. Liz, you want me to get up and you can sit here for a while? No. Bring back the uh, the the ghost story uh, lighting and camera six. Assuming the numbers are the Engineering's same. Engineering's really busy. Oh, I know. They are. Yeah. That's so, a good light. It was an average and overcast day at Desert Bus. <laughs> no. So I'm sitting in the bathroom and I'm going to the bathroom and I'm standing up wrestling with my jumpsuit and I notice that the water in the toilet starts to swish <laughs> back and forth in a menacing way. <laughs> As if all the pipes are connected and somebody else has done something bad and dark to a toilet and now it's going to get its revenge upon me as the nearest human victim. And I'm thinking, I need to leave. <laughs> I'm in a room surrounded by my peers and because I wanted to wear a fashionable jumpsuit, I can't get my pants up. <laughs> so now I can never leave because I will just die in air of shame. But it turns out it was fine. And I was like, ah! <laughs> and got out. I'm here. There's no there's no revenge poo water on my pants. There we go. Wow. That, I was legitimately scared. Oh, yeah. That's that's actually the story I told. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was really basically the same thing. I think the five minutes of pure, or five seconds of pure adrenaline. Right, Speaking of a, pure in, adrenaline, no, this is it. Okay, this is great. This is great. There y'all are. Look at all these people on stage. This can't be on stage. These are all awesome people. Can you reverse the picture in picture? They're gonna reverse. They're yeah. gonna. So they're gonna make the. They're gonna make that big so that everyone at home can see it yeah. better. But yeah, you'll see Ben wearing his black vest and red tie. You'll see him, because this is during Molly Lewis's entrance. Right. Oh. oh no! I think our oh good. Go you away. can see my head down in Let's, the front row. Yeah, take, sorry, take, yeah, take <laughs> yeah, the picture, picture away. Now Here we go. Let's start it again, yeah. All right, so watch Ben. Ben stands up. He goes to sit at the back. And there he goes. Oh, 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 good. Oh. oh, you read my writer. Actually. <laughs> <laughs> They're okay. <laughs> that was okay, the last it. that was the last concern Molly showed. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> nobody's, nobody's dead. That well, was such a good save from Molly once she established that nobody was bleeding. Yeah. Right? What, I, what I love also is that, as I mentioned, Ben struck out and grabbed the only thing he could, which was Andrew. 
and they both they both went backwards. Andrew made a concerted choice to not do the same, which would have been grabbing Beej. And Beej looked over and started to reach out and did like the, I'm reaching. Nope. There is nothing that I will be able to do to affect this. And if I try, I might just end up going over with them. I will stop. <laughs> like he actually went, uh, eh. <laughs> no, Self-preservation instinct. Yeah. I like I was just like paralyzed. But speaking of paralyzed.